Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Ape Out. It's, I, as far as I can tell, it's kind of Hotline Miami, but you play as a gorilla, which, I don't know, that's kind of an interesting hook. I've never actually played Hotline Miami or any, anything from the genre, really. There's a, there's a couple that kind of get close, but for the most part, I, I have just stayed away from these games, but, uh, my press contact with Devolver was kind enough to send me a copy, and I am kind enough to play some Ape Out. I might have to turn down the volume, we'll see. Well, I like the style, it's very like... Ah, oh, jeez, would I say... It reminds me of like an indie film from the 80s. Okay, so we're in a cage. Oh, jeez. Okay. So... I gotta... Okay. Do I have anything that makes me go faster? Oh. Okay. Wait. This is in relation to Bennett Foddy. I... That's interesting. Sure, why not? Let's see. I might also get a bit of a uh, live audience. No, that doesn't actually look like that's too loud. We'll see how it goes. Up banana Miami. <laughs> uh, let's see. But yeah, uh, we'll see if this is too loud. Disc 1, Subject 4. Okay, so I've got to get hostages. I don't see any kind of, like, health bar. Now can I- okay, I can pick up a corpse. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I think that was me dying. Neat. Well, that didn't go so hot for me. Uh, let's see. Science man! Okay, so holding up a piece of a corpse is not particularly effective, uh, as cover. Holding up a whole person, though, effective as cover. Now, what I can do... ...is blind the guy. Okay, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, so the orange is my own blood, so I gotta be... I gotta be careful here. It looks like half these people are pretty naked. But yeah, so if I hit them with... If I hit them with their, their companion's legs... They get stunned, so I can kind of utilize that. Okay, so I've, I've got ammo. I'm, I'm limited to melee, currently. Damn it. Yeah, it took too many hits early on. I got close there. It also does not look like... I, I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't actually look like I have to do anything apart from get to the end. Which makes this a bit easier. Excuse me, you're coming with me. Yeah, violent Donkey Kong. I mean, a little bit less Donkey Kong, a little bit more Murder Kong. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna go with, with arms for the time being. Okay, I will be taking that. I like the line of sight system. I like the style, too. Oh, I might not have killed the dude. Whoa. Stay around the corner. Okay. Whoops. That's a shotgun. There we go. Nope. I'm gonna need that. Okay, so the big- the big guys are not actually unkillable. They just look spooky. There we go. I'm just going to be using these arms for fun and profit.
Okay, I'm just gonna blind him for a second. Give me this. Well, I like this. It's a bit claustrophobic for my tastes, but it works. It's very competently made. And the visual style I find extremely uh, engaging. Oops. I need this. There we go. Somebody exploded. I'm not sure why. Ow. Uh, I'm pissed off? Or no, I'm dead. Okay, so some of the- oh god. This is huge. So some of those guys explode. Okay, so... I gotta pay attention, somebody apparently has a bomb vest on. Which means I gotta hurl things at them instead. Give me your tuckus. They'll save my butt. Okay. Luckily, all of these guys uh, take a moment to fire. Ow. Okay, we're kind of doing alright. Whoa. better way around this guy. Because, yeah, if they've got a bomb vest on, I can't do anything to them. Whoop! Damn it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get wrecked here. Well, we could just beeline for it. One more hit and I'm done. Stay away from those. Okay. Got him. Nope. Damn it. I was hoping I could get away. Didn't work. Oh, I was so close. Ah. Didn't, doubly didn't work. Alright, we're almost done. Shit, there's a lot of them here. Okay. Defend me, oh bloody arm. Yeah, didn't work. Missed. So you gotta get close enough to the bomb guys to hit the fuse, maybe. Okay. just kind of give them a bit of a wide berth. I don't know how effective they are at following me. Night. I was really hoping I could grab that. Okay, yeah, so the... Ah, I think they got me. Whoa. I'm not sure. I think I've been toasted. I'm faster than I previously was. Okay, I'm just gonna book it. I think we're right at the end, too. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Well, this is a weird game. I don't... I don't know if I want my parents watching this. So, supposedly, they might drop by... Uh... To, uh, watch me play stuff, damn it. Sometimes the ape... The arms... Damn it. Didn't work. Grab, right click. Okay, I can tear this off at the very least. Oh. Oh, I could have used that as a shield. Well, that's fine. And I'm dead. Damn it, didn't work. Okay, uh... Yeah, so my parents are here, and... 
Okay, so you can grab those guys. I guess you can grab those guys, too. Hmm. Well, we are a giant gorilla, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so my parents are here, and they might drop by uh, to, like, come watch me play. I'm not sure if I'm super comfortable with that with this game. But, so be it. It looks like the door is invulnerable. I could be wrong. I'm gonna assume as such. Okay, that ain't gonna work. I was really hoping that I could almost just use use it as a shield the entire way through. But, uh, no dice. Okay, so we've taken some hits here that I don't want to have taken, but so be it. I was really hoping I could pick that back up. Oh, God. Damn it. Ah, I only got one or the other. Ah, oh, it's right at the end, too. Yeah, how much is this game? I honestly don't know. It comes out tomorrow, uh, on Steam. And... that's about it. It might be out on some other platforms, too. But, it's cool. I don't know. I... I'd probably give 10, 15 bucks for this game. More than that might be a little bit much. Okay, let's just do this. All we need is the shotgunner to start shooting again. Shooting again. There we go. Last two. I'm just gonna make sure. Not no survivors, but no one to specifically get me. Oh, interesting. Whoop. Bots! Okay. Looks like we're clear. Let's try that again. I don't... I might have gotten hit. I might have gotten exploded. Okay, and we're clear. Perfect. A false alarm. Or no, four, four, false alarm. I read the four as, uh, all right. Give me a hand. Gotta chuck it at my foes. Hit him right in the face. I wonder how long this game is. It probably actually says in the Steam, Steam description. Okay. Oh, oh, it shot the explosive guy in my hands. Oh, that's bad. Excuse me. I can use this. Just gonna bail. There's one shotgunner elsewhere. Okay, I am just- I'm just on a book it tour. Damn it. Chuck my dude into the other dude. That didn't work. Alright, whatever. Give me that arm. Give me that man. Wow, perfect aim. Uh, let's see. Come on. Come here, you lout. Yeah, buddy. Go from here. It's interesting. I I think I should probably play Hotline Miami someday just to just to say that I have. Now, 
It doesn't look like this guy's immediately activated, right? Cool. So I can utilize that. Okay. I think we're clear. And now that's spooky. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta bail fast. Fast-ish. Damn it. Okay, we got lucky. What the? That was confusing. Just gonna leave that over there. No! Hit him! Sometimes I notice, uh, the ape won't actually hit stuff within his own hitbox, which is kind of awkward. You'd think you could almost just run people over. Huh. <sighs> End of side A. Let's see how side B goes. It seems like an interesting game, but for me, games like this, I need more than just, like, a linear... Thing. Powered down. I, I'm a big fan of upgrade systems in games or like exploration and this very much as a get, get to the end kind of situation. Which I don't necessarily mind, but... Ah, okay, you can throw the bombs. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. So the power's out. Well, let's see. Now they have flashlights. I, I wonder if this is going to make uh, it easier on me. Nope. Made it much worse. Good God. I mean, at least it's easier for me to tell exactly where they are, but that's about it. Long shadows. Now let's do one or two more of this, and I think I'll probably call it- Ah, crap. Crap. I can't see anything. And I'm dead. Yeah. I don't know. It's more of a- I think this is more of a game for maybe speedrunners? I'm not a very good speedrunner. I wish I could, like, pick up stuff like the desks and whatnot. But yeah, I was hoping it being in, uh, stealth mode would actually be easier, but... From my experience, this is actively harder. Oh, I bet with the flashlight they don't do the chick-chick. Uh... You know, they fire a bit faster. It's probably my vague guess here. Ow, ow, ow. We're good. We're good. We got out of here. Ding, 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 ding. Everybody explodes. This ape makes it away. Nope. Damn it. I'm not grabbing limbs as much because I can't see them. They blend in really well with the carpet. Oh god, ow. Pripes. That didn't work. I still had a fair bit left. I was really hoping that I could, uh... I was really hoping I could just bail. Do I have a limb? There's a limb. Yeah, I don't like these dark levels as much. I can't see butts. I can't aim for butts either. And yeah, it actually looks like they have a longer... Like a longer line of sight like this. Ow. Okay, well the lights are back on. And I can grab this man's tukus. 
All right, there's more. Okay. Yeah. No. Bad. See, I've ever heard of the game Mr. Shifty. It's sort of like this. I've heard of a number of games like this. Uh, they've just never really appealed to me because it's much more of like a immediate process type game instead of how do how do I even call it? Live, die, repeat. Which is weird because I actually really like the idea of live, die, die repeat, but I think this is a little bit more, a little shorter than I'm used to. Go, let, let's finish this level. We'll go from there. I'm trying to, trying to like put my, put my finger on the, like how, how these games kind of function. That is both compelling and also totally not my thing. I guess I grew up way uh, too much with like, where's the arm? Does he have an arm? I exploded this man, but I don't have any body parts. I guess we're just living without it. Okay, and we pretty much have to immediately book it. Ow, ow, ow. Out. There's really not much you can do about that. And I'm dead. You really have to bail. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. I don't have the patience for this kind of game. Uh, I'm much more of the kind of guy that... You know, if I have to repeat something, I only have to repeat it once or twice, and obviously, like... An amount of these failures are entirely my fault, because I'm not playing very well, and I'm just kind of in it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go fast enough for this. Oh, and of course I couldn't see the platform. Okay. Keep bailing. Keep bailing. Keep bailing. And we've got it. Green door, and we're good. We're out of here. Oh. And yeah, I guess I only have to repeat these, like, a little bit here and there. So it's not like... It's not like I have to... It's not like I get stuck that much. But, I don't know. We... You know, maybe maybe games like Mr. Shifty are actually pretty good. But... Oh god, the cacophony of the... I like the jazz, but it's... It might be a little bit much for me. It's, I, I think it's also one of those that, because I'm still sick, this game just stresses me out to... Uh... To no end? I don't know. There we go. This is goofy. Are we dropping frames? We might be dropping frames. That's uh, not a good sign if we are, but I can't do much about it. Let's finish this. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna get shot for that. Well, I'm just gonna rush for the ending. How am I not dead yet? I have no idea. Ugh. I was kind of hoping I could get get to the B side at the very least. Excuse me, sir. I wonder what kind of weird speed running glitches you might run into with this game. I don't know. Oh, are we done? Is that it? Ah, we didn't make it. Ah! I'm not doing that again. I got so far. I got so far. Uh, but it didn't even matter. It was a fun game, but not for me. It's uh, it's one of those where like I, I prefer 
I prefer more like immediately mechanically deep games than arcadey stuff. But yeah, that was so close. I had just a little bit more. Just if I had saved that one guy for a bit, I would have been okay. But oh well, it's not the end of the world. Maybe I don't know. People are probably going to be bad. You could have beaten it. I wanted to see what happened, but there's no way we were close to the end of that game. Some more enemy types would be interesting, and I'm actually really disappointed I couldn't, like, um, bash my way through walls and stuff. Like, it was kind of neat that I could go through windows and stuff, but, like, most of that's probably drywall, you'd think. I was also kind of hoping I could, um, like, tear things off walls and whatnot, because that would have been really cool, too. But, as it stood, pretty much the only things you can interact with were, like, a couple of, couple of things, you know, the door, the generator, and all the enemies that you're fighting, and I, I feel like... Uh, it reminds me of Monaco, but without the variety of things that you could do. Monaco was beautiful. Anywho. Uh, I guess this is kind of fun for a, uh, for like a, a little one-off. So if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, you like, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And, uh, if you want to see more random mini games, god, my channel is filled with them. I guess with this, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.